I didn't get here fast enough. There's a little bit of a fireworks show. I don't know if you can hear the, uh, some kind of parade going on. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's some uh, there's some uh, band playing over there in the square, and they had some fireworks, but I didn't really get much of it. Um, but just another night in uh, in El Centro. Out for a walk today. Along the uh, Rio Tome Bamba, I took the low road, and CG took the high road. But El Centro was up uh, up the hill here, so it's quite a few steps to go up and down uh, to the river and back. But it's a beautiful sunny day uh, between the raindrops. Uh, hopefully the uh, steady uh, camness of this camera is working. Otherwise, I apologize. But man, the houses along the river are really nice. I'm pretty sure that's what uh, the ahi, their sauce. Is oh, there. that's what the ahi hot sauce, the ingredient is? Well, yes, but it's not the hot part. You add a it's beautiful walking along the river and sometimes we see people down here washing clothes in the river if I had to do that I guess I would think the dirty clothes wasn't all that bad luckily I got camera girl to take care of all of my dirty clothes as long as I cook breakfast lunch and dinner and do the dishes She'll do the laundry. I like the arrangement. We're here during uh, March, April, and May. And I really appreciate the, uh, the sunlight when it's out and about. Because we've had a, a whole lot of rainy days. Even today it's been raining. Uh, we went out and we were walking around in the park and started sprinkling on us and we went and got a little uh, coffee and post pa pastry. So this is my my favorite coffee spot, my favorite postre de Mickey Mouse. Mm. Grande Yuko. See? Those cafes, you postre for I'm beginning to understand why you like it. It's not the taste, although their pastries are very no, good. These are, reminds me of the palmiers in Seattle. Not as good as the French palmiers in Seattle. Well, they're not as sweet and they're drier. But it's good. Mm-hmm. And it's good with coffee. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And it started raining on us a little bit when we left there. Now it's beautiful and sunny, but we got our jackets and we got our hats and I fully expect to rain, it to rain on us sometime when we're out and about uh, on this little walk. But even though it's been super duper rainy, it doesn't actually uh, keep us from doing anything. You know, having a hat and having a jacket it's really been kind of essential, but it seems like it rains every day, but we just get out in it and it's no problem. But walk along the river, super duper tranquilo. Seems like dogs are a big part of life in Latin America. We see a lot of dogs in yards and rooftops. Uh, but every now and then you'll see a guard cat. 
they're not nearly as popular I guess because they don't bark loud enough uh, but they're very effective because part of me wants to go up here and explore but yeah this cat is making me feel like I just need to move along We've been in two earthquakes uh, since we've been here in uh, Cuenca. I don't know. I don't. I don't see how this stuff stays in place through these tremors. But I mean, there wasn't a lot of damage when we were here. We were here. Uh, I don't know. I guess it was about a month ago. So it was in April. Maybe it was at the beginning of April. There was a 6.8 magnitude earthquake, and I mean, it shook for quite a while. And we were in a Mercado at the time, and I mean, the building was just swaying, and it seemed to go on and on forever and ever. But I don't think there was a lot of damage in the city. I mean, there definitely was. Uh, but I guess a lot of these buildings have been here for hundreds of years. It is a lovely day. And we got our big, wide-brimmed hats on. Because even when the sun's not out beating on you, what do you always say? Well, the rays are still coming down on you. Yeah. Especially between 10 and 2, and we're at the equator. Yeah, because we're at the equator, you know, we always want to have our hats on. You know, me because of my bald spot, but, uh, camera girl, well, anybody with skin, <laughs> anybody with skin that did not grow up in an equatorial climate needs to have sunscreen or a hat. We always wear long pants and uh, long sleeve shirts too. And uh, we haven't been sunburned. We've seen a few sunburned people, sunburned gringos, and it doesn't look like fun. Alrighty, we're down into a calmer, quieter, hopefully less windy uh, part of the Rio Tomi Bamba River. I think we're getting more into Gring Gringolandia, where the Tranvia comes down and then you start seeing all these taller apartment buildings. It is very quiet down here compared to near El Centro. See some dark clouds on the horizon there. I feel the wind picking up, but it's a lot different uh, down here walking along the river than it is just a few blocks over on either street. So you've kind of got this little peaceful uh, pathway through the city along the river for the most part. Although sometimes it follows uh, some pretty heavily trafficked areas. But down here, I don't know, it's like a whole different world. But I think this is where a lot of, uh, a lot of expats have apartments. But I don't know, I'm talking out of my butt. Although, we do see more uh, expats down here, uh, walking dogs and whatnot. But you can walk. I think for quite a few miles along the Rio Tomi Bamba. Uh, we've been down here before 
and seen folks washing big bags of fruit in the river. And we've seen a lot of people down here washing clothes too. One time we saw people down here, like dozens of people with just these huge piled carts full of clothes. It almost looked like a, a professional clothes washing enterprise. I don't know, I think it would be, I think it would be nice uh, to stay down here for a little bit. It'd be definitely quieter than where we're at in El Centro, but I don't know. It's a, there's a lot to do in El Centro. I don't know which I would prefer more. Longer term, maybe that quiet down here would be better. Got to walk farther for coffee, though. All right, so we're following the uh, Tranvia back, uh, but this here, Cafe Amour along the Tranvia track is one of our favorite places to eat and I think it has the best to grill. Is it's that true? pretty good. I don't know, yours is pretty good too. Yeah, but I mean if you got to go out into a restaurant to get some, I think a Cafe Amour has fantastic to grill and super duper uh, bologna. We got some more uh, vegetales today at the Mercado, so I got them soaking in a little bit of solution. Uh, we put it in this stuff here and rinse it to disinfect it. Uh, got some more plantanos I got to cook. And I think we're in for the day. We've been out walking around along the river. I know I keep showing the same old view. Didn't see any uh, people washing their clothes though today. But it's a beautiful day. We got sprinkled on a little bit. But not too bad and I don't know I think we walked quite a ways we had coffee at a few places and we had breakfast at a gringo restaurant where a lot of the gringos in town like to go and had a big breakfast there and now I think I'm gonna pull out my computer and do some stuff on there boy I heard some loud explosions you know today's a holiday I guess it's a holiday there too but they had some fireworks stuff going on. Even last night they had a little bit, but I didn't really catch it. But nothing's happening now. We're just uh, wrapping up our day, and I uh, hope you had a bueno one too. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing and sharing and thumbs it up. Uh, if you want to support us on Patreon, uh, there's links down below where you can buy us a cup of coffee on PayPal. Really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you in the future. Cool bathroom, dude. What do you think, Dad? Well, I think I want some of whatever it is that you're smoking.